we have got a terrific, terrific athletic program at Kent State. I think the student athletes who are here know that, the coaches who are here in support of the new coach. We have great student athletes, great coaches, great support, a terrific athletic director, and in that continuing tradition, our baseball program is something that we're really, really committed to. I mean, we've just invested a lot of money to upgrade facilities, and that's going to be a continuous process because we think that baseball is a sport that we can really continue to excel at, and we're here to make an important announcement today. When we started the search for the replacement for Scott Strickland, we looked for qualities and a skill set that we thought best matched our situation. The qualities included being a great role model, a dynamic recruiter, a developer of talent, someone committed to the academic success of our student athletes, and a person familiar with successful baseball in the North. The baseball people understand that. We also look for someone that was successful on multiple levels, not only as a player, but also as a coach. Our new head coach, Jeff Duncan. Yeah, you can put it on. See if, okay. see if it fits. Okay. Fits pretty good, yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's an honor to be here today, and I just want to thank, first of all, the Kent State administration and everybody who was involved with this hiring and interviewing process. Um, obviously, Joel Nielsen, thank you very much for the kind words. Uh, Janet Kittle. Thank you for your time and effort in this whole process, all the legwork. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Kathy Wilson during the interviewing process as well. Um, Greg Floyd, the phone calls that I got from Greg Floyd this last week and, and just introducing me to the Kent State baseball tradition and the Kent State baseball family was awesome. He's a very funny guy too as well and he can make me and Berkey laugh on the phone. So I also want to thank President Lefton for this great opportunity, and I can't thank you enough. My wife, Lauren, my wife of six years, um, she's been with me through thick and thin, and she's a coach's wife. She understands the coaching lifestyle, and I can't thank you enough. You're my rock. You're my strength. My son, Bryce, who's nine months old now, and uh, he's not here today. He's with Grandma and Grandpa. And I just got a picture right before I got in here of Bryce, and he's standing up today. So in about three months, Berkey, he'll be taking batting practice on the field, I think. <laughs> Becoming the head baseball coach is a dream come true. This is the greatest day of my coaching career, the greatest day of my coaching career. The reason why, it's an opportunity to lead young men at a, at a program with great tradition, it really does. Great tradition, great alumni, great players, 21 major leaguers, 12 regional appearances, 12 MAC titles, and great people. Mike Birkbeck, associate head coach, ex-major leaguer. He brings instant credibility to this program. Alex Marconi, another ex-professional baseball player, brings instant credibility. He's a really good recruiter was a head coach in the MAC already. Was an, my vision is simple. It's not only to maintain the success, but it's to continue to take a little step further, a step further in this program, academically, athletically, and socially. Academically, we're going to continue to graduate players, all of our players. Our APR is going to continue to be high. Athletically, we're going to continue to win championships. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go to Omaha again, too. We'll go to Omaha again. Okay. And when we go to Omaha, we're gonna break that door down. The expectation is high here. That's what intrigues me about this job so much. And it takes me back to my Arizona State days as a player, the expectations were so high. And I love that. I love that about Kent State baseball. Socially, we'll be respectful off the field. We'll be hardworking, we'll have integrity and will be leaders on campus and around the community. I'm going to ask two things from our players, and that's attitude and effort. Those are two controllables, attitude and effort on and off the field. If you have attitude and effort and a little bit of talent, unbelievable things can happen. 
I'm definitely ready for this, and I know our coaching staff's ready for this effort. And as of today, I'm going to leave you with this. The Kent State baseball tradition continues. Thank you.